my regular viewers know that I don't sell or trade. It's just not worth my time. I'm a busy guy. Videos take a long time to make. I work. Uh, I just don't have time to uh, sell or trade. For me, it's just easier. If I need something, like I wanted to make sure I got certain hot ones out of the uh, recent assortments, so I bought the whole case online to make sure I got certain cars. And then, of course, I get people sending me messages saying, hey, you want to sell me that? Hey, you want to trade that? Of course, nobody's interested in the other stuff that I get stuck with out of the case. They only want the stuff that, you know what, this is what I bought the case for, so that I get these. Uh, so that's why selling and trading, just not worth my time. Uh, you watch my videos, uh, I take time to lay out my stories. It's just not me sitting down with a bag saying, look what I bought. All right, my videos take time to make. And I just don't have the time to negotiate trades or sales. On the other hand, when situations arise, I do. You know, it, uh, sometimes I'll get something new and uh, I'll get a super and then somebody will offer me something ridiculous for trading. Come on, man. I don't need supers. I don't collect supers. Joe, the master loafer, he said, Mark, I got a whole bunch of accelerators. Are you interested? And you guys know accelerators are right up my alley. I want to use them for the videos. I already have a complete set of every car. I already have reverb. But you know what? I'll take an extra because I'm, I don't want to put reverb down the uh, wall tracks when I only got one. Well, now I got another one. Not only that, he had some cars that had the cool five-spoke variations. Notice how this one has uh, five-spoke co molds as opposed to uh, most of the cars that came out with six spokes. Well, a lot of the cars, some, a couple cars he had, I didn't have the five-spoke variation. That's right up my alley. So he said, so I said, I'm absolutely interested. I go, what are you looking for in trade? And this is the part that... I'm kind of dreading to be honest with you because it's hard to negotiate stuff. Hopefully someone doesn't say, well, I'll give you five supers. Uh, I'm looking for, you know, five or ten supers or something. I, you know, whatever. But then the master loafer says, what about those pink party cars? You remember I got those, uh, that heck of a deal for the Redline Club, the, uh, the pink party cars? Those of you been around, now you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You know the one that's missing the wheel? You guys noticed that. I was filming that and I, I didn't even notice it until afterwards. Well, the wheel's there. It's just loose in the bag. So as soon as I open the bag, I can just pop right back on that bushing. It'd be good to go. So Joel, the master loafer, says, Do you still have those pink party cars? And I tell him I got every single one because I didn't sell or trade them. I bought them, I stick them in a pile, and there you go. So, wham, bam, we do a deal. I already got my cars. He already got his uh, pink party cars, and it's a done deal. So even though I say I don't sell or trade, it's not absolute. It's because most of the time, if we're just talking about a car or two, it's not worth it. See, here's another one. See, cool five spokes. It's not worth my time to, to negotiate over one car. Here, I wind up with a whole bunch of cars. He winds up with a bunch of rare Redline Club pink party cars that he did not have. And we negotiate a fair trade. And we're both happy campers. This one here, it's got the, uh, the, the color is not metallic. See how it's just kind of a regular plastic. Whereas the uh, regular Accelerators version had a uh, metallic kind of look to it. Or I should say satin. And if you were looking like I told you before... You got your five spokes and you got your six spokes. Now, I don't know which ones I had or which ones I don't have. I just said I want them all. And then I got people saying, hey, sell me your acceleracers. Sell you my acceleracers? I'm still buying them. Why am I going to sell them when I'm still buying them? That don't make no sense. This one I did not have. Uh, pretty rare. I mean, maybe it's worth $9 or something. I don't know. Most of them were released like this in the uh, silver chrome. But see the black one? I don't know why all of the drones were in black. But this guy here, the most common one, was in silver. Maybe you guys who... I watched all of the movies, but I don't remember... Uh, I don't remember if he, that, that car was in silver. Notice, see, all the drones were in black. But the common version for the drone for this guy was in silver. 
I don't know why. So, awesome for me to finally get the red version, uh, or black version, I should say. I know for sure I'm going to open this one up because I need that guy. And then he had another cool variation. This one here. Never heard of this. I don't know uh, what it's worth. Or I have no idea. I don't even know if it's a known variation. But you see here you have the same cars. Now it might say RD06 and this, this one say RD10. But if you look at the cars, the cars are the same. I should check the base. Hold on. Oh, I can't tell. I got this stupid thing here. So anyways, uh, same cars, but for some reason, this one has a black base, and this has a chrome base. You can tell for sure this way, black base, chrome base. You look at the uh, the front part here, it's a metallic black. This is a matte black. So I don't know why there's a variation with that. Hadn't heard of it, or if I did, I didn't know. I don't remember. Will I sell one of my accelerators? No, I'm still buying the things. So anyways, Joe, the master loafer, thank you very much for the trade. My viewers are going to get a lot of use out of these cars because I'm going to be opening them up. Let's go ahead and open this one up now. Like I said, this is the rare all-black version of the RD03. But really, you guys don't care too much about that. Let's see what uh, cars I get in the mix here. Maybe we'll get a hollow foil. Maybe I'll open a bunch of cars until I get a hollow foil. There he is in black. Let's see, is that the car? RD03. There he is. Now, it's very common for these Accelerators packs to come with the car on the package as the uh, one there. Check out that bike. Wouldn't it have been crazy if they would have made that bike into a Hot Wheel? No rare ones. We gotta find a rare one. Let's see. Let's open up a uh, silencer. Let's open up a metalloid here. I might just keep going until I get a, a hollow foil. I don't know. We could be here all day. There we go. Shiny. See it? I see the second card. He's got some, uh, got a hollow foil. So up front, RD04, was that the car? Let's see, uh, no, I got it out of the Metalloid pack, right? Isn't that the one I just opened? So anyways, let's look at the common card that's usually in the back. We got the uh, Solar Realm. You got your RD04. And Joe the Master Lover. Down there in Texas working for NASA. Congratulations on the uh, successful uh, space missions. I enjoyed the pictures that you shared on your channel. Let's see, what foil did I get? It's a hazard, and it's acid bath. Thanks a bunch, Joe. You'll be seeing these cars in future videos. And some of the, uh, the five-spoke variations, and like this uh, black one right here, going in my collection. I hope you enjoy the uh, Redline Club Pink Party cars. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.